Today I'll be going from this to this, trying the Dowin makeup look Get Ready With Me. Dowin basically refers to the Chinese TikTok and the makeup is a broad style defined by soft and beautiful looks that give a doll-like appearance. So let's get straight into it. Starting with tight lining my eyes and then moving on to the eyebrows, I'll be using this Rimmel London Brow This Way and the Thousand Hour Brow Gel. I will start with adding the brow pomade or the cream side and then using the powder. Then I will brush through the brows with this brow gel which helps to make the makeup look more natural and clean and also keeps it nice and soft for this specific makeup look. Then I like to use this invisible zinc mineral sunscreen moisturizer and then moving on to the Rare Beauty foundation. I use the shade 240N in summer and shades 210N and 190W in winter. So generally for all of skin tones, neutral toned foundations work best for you. And if your undertone is yellow, then go for a slightly more yellow or warm toned foundation. And this foundation is also a light to medium coverage, but you can always build up the coverage so it's quite versatile for this look. Next, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Now this concealer is a travel size one and it's actually a shade lighter than what I usually use. I usually go for the light medium sand, but this one is in a light sand. I had to get it for traveling, but it still works. Focus on covering all your dark circles, redness, acne, and blemishes, and on highlighting the center portion of your face to add a natural contour. And I'll be going over the sides of my face later on with a bronzer, so it will balance everything out. Next, I'm using the Hula Bronzer by Benefit in the shade Caramel as an eyeshadow base, and also to contour my nose. I'm concentrating on emphasizing the brow area and the tip of my nose only, and leaving out the bridge of my nose. This bronzer works well for olive skin tones because caramel can add some orangey tones and color which complements olive skin tones and add some glow to your skin tone because as you know olive skin tends to sometimes look washed out, dull or pasty. Moving on to the blush, again go with an orangey toned or warm toned pink blush and for this specific makeup look, they like to apply it almost right underneath your eyes to so start right above the apples of your cheeks and some on your nose as well to create that soft flushed look. And then to set everything, I will be using this translucent setting powder by Nude by Nature. So this one is colorless. I also like to use a small baby brush to pat the powder on my face and to keep the face looking nice and matte. Again, I like to mainly focus the application on my T-zone, which is the center portion of your face. And finally, blending everything out again with a damp beauty blender. So moving on to the fun part consisting of the eye makeup, I am using the Body Shop eyeshadow palette in paint in color and Zoeva Cocoa Blend palette. I'll be using the dark pink and maroon shades, which again is great for individuals with olive skin tones. Starting first with this white or beige eyeshadow, using that all over my eyelid space with my finger and then going over with the maroon eyeshadow all over my crease. I'm also adding some brown on my crease to create depth and also on the lower lash line. With this specific makeup look, they love to emphasize the bags under the eyes. It helps to open up your eyes, make it look bigger. So I'm just doing that here. Then I'm adding some glitter or some of the glittery shades to the center of the eyelid. And the same again to the lower lash line, just emphasizing the bags again. And then adding the glitter to the center of the eye bag, which makes your eyes look more open. Also, I'm adding some glitter and highlighter to the tear ducts or the inner corners of your eyes, which can really make your eyes pop as well. This adds to that soft, glowy look. And highlight underneath your brow bone, the center of your nose, as well as on the tip of your nose. For the eyeliner, I'm using the Epic Ink Eyeliner by NYX or NYX, just drawing a line as close to the lash line as possible and then winging it out towards the ends. And I just like to draw a straight line at the end as well to connect to the lines. And then using a brown eye pencil, this one is by Nude by Nature. I like to use it on my lower lash line. Concentrate applying more towards the outer ends of your eyes, which will help widen them as well. For the mascara, I'll be using the Telescopic Lift Mascara by L'Oreal on both the top and bottom lashes. And also for this specific look, I'll be using the Ardell Wispies for the false lashes to create that doll-like appearance that this makeup is actually really famous for. If you want a more subtle look, you can also go for individual lashes. Finally, moving on to the lips, I'm using the Burt's Bees Lip Balm in Pomegranate, the Strip Down Lip Liner by MAC, and the World Lipstick by MAC again, which is great for olive skin 
skin tones. Applying the balm first, and this balm is also slightly tinted, just the pomegranate one to hydrate. And then I'll go all over my lips with the lip liner, including slightly overlining them, but I will be sure to smudge and blur them out as well, just with my fingers to keep in theme with this makeup look. The lipstick wasn't bright enough, so I'm also using the Sephora red lipstick in the shade Little Magic. This one is a coral red shade, so it also suits individuals with olive skin tones. I'm applying that just in the center of the lips and the center of your mouth, as they like to do for this specific makeup style. They basically like to have a really blurry lip um, on the outer corners with more color concentrated all at the center of the mouth. So this is the final result. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.